Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew Blind! And Mr. Pigeon there, over in the corner, is also saying hello. Oh, a more, more, more revealed to be Archaic Phasmid Outpost. Phasmid Champion uh, Kwoi D. Tuxum encountered by crew of Firefly. We actually have to check that guy out. Um, Kwoi D. See, we've never really taken down Vorb Kib. I wonder if he's still gonna appear. Hmm. Threat level very high. Is anyone that's not very high probably extreme or something? Wow. 12,500 credits for this one. That would be nice. Look at that. They all give a thousand research, though. That's a weird ship. Quaidy Taxon pilots a modified mine layer craft. Okay. Well, still as slow and clumsy as a standard mine layer, it appears to uh, have been strengthened somewhat. Our scans indicate that Phasmid mine layer pilots are often physically weaker and have a higher body fat percentage than fighter pilots. Quaidy Taxon appears to be no exception. Okay. <laughs> um. It's kind of weird. All right, so let's go for the missions, shall we? We've already done these one, uh, these ones. Oh, well, there's the Eliminate Champion. We picked up reports of Phasma Champion Quaidy Tuxum near Hestia Spiral Arm Inner. This may be our best chance to take them out once and for all. Of course we're gonna do that. I mean, 12,000 credits? Yeah! Of course we're doing that. All right, the usual first. Uh, you'll go to his station. They are quite slow now, but, yep. Alright. So, goodbye gravity, hello engines! Alright, let's put... Oh, okay. <laughs> Launch. <clears throat> Firefly, alright. To objective, Alpha Quadrant Outer. Setting new heading. Look at that uh, black hole generator. Looks pretty cool. They were quite brave to put that on their uh, space station, I have to say. But hey. Alright. Charging for hyperjump power diverted to engines. Engage! Look at that plasma. Alpha quadrant outer. Alright. There's the enemies incoming. Of course, as per usual. We are going to keep the performance analysis for the next part because there's only one more jump to do. So we're gonna do that. Oh. Right, there they are. Just two of them for now. Oh, wow. These are different. They've got, like, flak or something. Ouch. They hurt, actually. And they're quite uh, accurate as well. I like the music. Get him. I never know which one to click. Oh, that's a mine layer. I thought it was uh, one of those uh, ships. I'm not going to select the mines. Because they're very difficult to hit. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Look at our shields recharging. That's crazy. Come on. These guys are a lot tougher now. Of course, these are the chromatic ones. Or the iridescent ones, I suppose. That's a hacker one. He's hacking our O2 supply. Okay, it's not a huge deal. Oh, oh, oh no. Sorry. <laughs> Those are the mines. I thought we had loads more enemies. Oh, Nate Noob is... Ugh. <laughs> I completely forgot to put him on there. Completely forgot to put him on the uh, turrets. That was good. I always forget something. See, the problem is, I haven't played the game in a few days. So that's what happens. Alright, off you go. I was wondering why our DPS was somewhat lower than what it seemed. Oh yeah, of course, those missiles. Yeah. Alright, get him. Don't care about the miss. I mean, the mines. Our shields are good. More of them coming. Yeah, I mean, the uh, the performance analysis would have been quite nice here, I do admit. Especially because, of course, later on, when we fight the uh, champion, when we destroy him, they all uh, run away. Oh, there's more of them. Nice. 
But it's not a huge deal. I mean, our crew is pretty experienced by now, so... That is a troop transport, so come on. Get it. Before they dock. Come on. Nice. Lovely. <clears throat> so still five of them remaining. Look at how much they're... Um, missing us, because we have 72% evasiveness. I mean, just flying about, that's that's awesome. I'm looking forward to more Agile engines. I mean, this is kind of OP. I'm guessing they're going to change that, because... Um, <clears throat> every time, without failing games, when it's, when it's got RPG elements, ouch, ouch. Yeah, those guys hurt with a flak. Or I suppose it's not really flak, it's like, I don't know, heavy plasma or something. <clears throat> Without fail, I always go for either, you know, whatever is in the game. Is it blocking chance, which of course blocks all the damage, or evasiveness, or dodge, or whatever. And, uh, <clears throat> it's always better than armor, because armor, yeah, if, if it has a, you know, if it has a stat where it decreases the amount of damage taken, sure, that's good, but you're still taking the damage. If it's evasiveness, that's completely ignoring the damage. A part of it, anyway. Oh, missile's still missing. These guys are usually a lot easier to hit, but no. I'm not gonna use any skills, because I want them for the uh, champion. Come on. Everyone's missing a lot. Oh, there's some of the missiles are hidden. There's one, nice. Two more remaining. That was actually a pretty good fight. We didn't really take any damage, practically. I think we might have uh, taken a scuff or two down there. Come on. There we go. Ah. There goes the missiles. You're shooting too quickly, man. Too early. You need to wait until they're a little bit ways away and then shoot. There you go. Ah, still all missed. Those guys have a lot of evasiveness as well. Look at that. Because that, our guys are 70%, uh, 78% accurate. I mean, that's pretty good, but I think it just has to do with us going on uh, defensive as well. All right. Well, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Everything else is in order. The gun is waiting over there nicely. <laughs> okay. Let's charge and take out that champion for that nice bounty. Whoosh. That black hole looks so cool. Ah, okay, it's gonna be one of these. Love the music. Where's the black hole? Should be... There, yeah, there it is. We meet again! This time I can assure you the future is all mine! Uh, I might just tag him for now. No, I'm gonna tag everyone. And of course, I'm going to uh, call for support, both fighter and cruiser support. And we're going to go to performance analysis as well. And of course, you know what? I'm going to go to patrol for now, so he doesn't weave so much. And focus fire for everyone. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff coming. We don't have auto tag just yet. That's a lot of stuff everywhere. It's a good thing I called for support. Are you not fond of my presence, Earthlings? And here I thought I was... Ooh. I was doing something. Oh, no, I don't like those. Those are... Oh. It's a lot of radiation. I don't like that. At least most of it is here with Nade New... Well, not really. He's having one. He's having one as well. Are you not fond of my presence? I was really spoiling you. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's those things. Okay, we need we need some shields now. Let's have some shields. There's a lot of stuff everywhere. Well, that's a shame. Oh, there we go. We got him. Wasn't he really paying attention? And now they run away. Well, that was a bit of a waste again of performance analysis and everything. Oh dear. Well, I suppose one must reap what one sows. The pleasure was mine. Oh, well, he was kind of nice about it. Yeah, the thing is, as soon as you, uh, as soon as you destroy that champion, 
That's it. So wait a second. Nade noob. Wait, no, I'm not going to heal him. Oh, let's uh, let's uh, top up the uh, reactor. Yeah, Nade noob's health should not go down. I believe. Actually, let me let me go and heal that radiation damage and see what happens. Will that still take the? Yeah, it will. It will take the uh, medical stuff. But I thought that after. Well, I guess you lose that health after a while if you don't heal it. Yeah, that's that's how it must be, of course. Because what would be the point otherwise if it would just go back to normal health? That would not make any sense. Alright. I'm sorry it was a bit anticlimactic because I was trying to do so many things at once. Yeah, we took quite a bit of damage down there. Ouch. There's a UDF escape pod in your vicinity. Assistance uh, in recovery would be appreciated. Okay, let's go get him. A UDF pod, huh? I'm guessing it's going to be booby-trapped again. Waiting for alignment. Focus fire is ready to use. Focus fire is ready to use. Next demon. Focus fire is ready to use. <laughs> Alright, let's retrieve. There it is. Oh, hello! <laughs> ah, great, that's one of our scientists. This will surely help the research efforts. And of course, we're getting uh, enemies. And she's just sitting there. Nice! There we go. Let's go on defensive again. Get him! Can't really do performance analysis or anything because I blew it all on the previous fight. Which really, performance analysis would have been better used on the first fight, on the first sector. Because we had a lot of enemies there. A hacker and two of the beam guys, I believe. Beam interceptors, those are horrible. Oh, look at all those missiles hitting there. Oh, did we actually bump into the hacker? <laughs> Shields restored, that's what we like to hear. Oh, that guy still has a bit of shields, I believe. They they glue red, but I believe that just means they're very low. Come on, hit that guy! Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. He still had shields, but just very low. Oh, look at the armor flying off. Are you seriously missing? You are missing. Uh-oh. Oh, the shields. I don't like that. You know what? Yep, now we, we are out of shields. Lovely. Okay, you know what? Let's do uh, some evasive mist while we actually repair the shield recharger, because that's not good. Now, fortunately, despite the fact that we're doing evasive maneuvers, the missiles should still be fairly good at hitting stuff. Um, of course, not in the moment, because nobody's manning the turret with the missiles, of course! I did not not see that. <laughs> Hello. More of them. Performance analysis is still not available. That's okay. You know what? Everyone just focus. This is the last fight here anyway, so why not? And like I said, it, it, it's a little bit disappointing that in this game, um, focus fire is a lot less strategic, I feel, than in Bomber Crew. Our upper shields are... Wow, that recharges so quickly. I love it. Yeah, in, in Bomber Crew, you really had to think of when to use Focus Fire, because it was very useful when enemies were coming towards you, but here, they really rarely go straight towards you, especially because you have the evasiveness available to use. And of course, in Bomber Crew, most of the time you flew in a straight line, so that wasn't such an issue. Here, your ship um, weaves and turns and constantly changes direction, even if you go on patrol. I know I, I know I could do patrol, but he still turns every now and then, and of course you lose that extra evasiveness. So here, let's go on patrol. So we get a... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was pretty good. I mean, we took a little bit of damage down there. That's, uh, there's a few pock marks. It's cool how it just takes the paint off. I know I've said it already, but uh, it's pretty interesting. I would definitely love to see... Well, I don't know, perhaps the, the if you do get heavier damage, perhaps it does actually show through and you see, I don't know, wires and pipes and all that stuff. 
I think that'd be cool to see. Athena Station. Alright. Tag Athena Station to land. <clears throat> Hello! I do wish it wouldn't give you that warning icon there if you shut it off yourself. Because I know it's shut off. Quidi Tuxum. Nice, that's a lot of credits. That's going to come in handy. Scientist rescued. 750 research, that's nice. Firefly returned. Alright. Reactor boost 3. Nice. Alright, we'll have to try that one. No, I'm uh, ignoring that. Because we want to be surprised. Right, spacecraft first. Let's see what there's new for Firefly. I think it's that one. Plasma Cannon plus Railgun Mark II. Uh, we already have Railgun Mark II. But it's quite expensive. Missile Launcher Mark II. We already have that one. 134. Effective against armor. I don't know. I kind of want to switch out the auto cannon high explosive Mark II with a m with missiles Mark II because they have a lot more DPS and they don't miss as much. I don't know. Effective at dislodging armor plating. Less effective against energy shields. So, th yeah, and this one is also effective against armor. Hmm. And these ones I just want to stay away from because you need to be swapping them out. If they swap them out themselves, that'd be nice, but I don't know if I have that. Well, maybe. But, I mean, you, you lose out, see? I mean, you can get this stuff, which is very expensive, and you still don't get enough DPS, of course. Um, but if you go just for the missiles... I might actually go just for the missiles. Plasma Cannon Mark Three. There's no Mark IV at the moment. Look at that. Plasma Cannon plus Missile Launcher Mark II. That'd be nice. What the heck is that? Particle Beam Mark II. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm... No, you know what? I'm gonna keep this for now. Oh, engines. Engines are available? Standard Engine Mark III. Jeez. It was a huge... It was a huge... Unfortunately, you lose out on the agility. They're not as uh, armored, but we never really had much problem with engines so far. It's it's really the shields that do it. In Bomber Crew, yeah, it was important because as soon as they got through your armor, you were uh, it was open season on your components. But here, shields really uh, do a lot. So, it's really armor that we're kind of worried about. Standard plating Mark V. Uh, we really want some standard plating Mark V up here as well. So, I guess that's what I'm going to be using my money on. Very expensive, but worth it, I think. So we've got Mark V plating everywhere now. Nice. All right, crew gear. Let's see what else is new there. Holster. So personal cloak. When equipped with personal cloak, crew members will be less, less easily spotted by enemies on board the ship. And a personal shield reduces the damage taken from uh, attackers on board the ship. It's interesting, but... It's really never really been an issue. Uh, I suppose personal cloak would be good for Dr. Loco, but they never really get to the front, do they? I mean, I could be proven wrong later on, but uh, let's see, boots. We've got power boots mark three. Improved power boots provide a greater amount of additional mobility, a great amount of additional oh, to the wearer, as well as some protection. And powered gravity boots. These are the ones we want. Wait a second, these are mark one. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Nade Noob already has the Powered Boots Mark 1. Oh well. I suppose nothing then. Because we have the Armored Boots. These guys don't really move about, so they don't really need something less armored. Uh, Nade Noob has the Engineering Tool. He still has the engineering gloves, Mark 1, which is very nice. 
You have this with the holster. Um, oh yeah, that's Yoger. Alcove. Alcove is in the back, right? Or is it Hag's Demon? I never remember which one is in the back. Engineer. Alcove. Oh well. Because I could have gotten, I, I could have given them the uh, personal shield, I suppose. But you know what? For now, that's fine. So, what else do we have? We we do have six thousand credits to spare for later. Clear out Phasmid forces. I suppose we could do that one. Why not? I mean, just you know, a nice quickie. Uh, right, get that weapon. Yoger. Okay, so it's uh, Hex Demon. That's that's the one that usually fights along with Nade Noob. I have to remember that. Uh, no gravity, everything in engines, uh, and more, uh, more into shields. All right, off we go. <clears throat> Power. Two objective. Alpha Quadrant Auto. New heading confirmed. Let's accelerate the time. I really like those Agile engines. They are excellent! Because what's the point in putting more health into engines if you can have these and, you know, avoid a lot more fire? It's much better. Again, I'm going to keep the performance analysis for the next part because it is just clearing out Phasmid forces, so I'm assuming there's going to be more of them there. See, I'm going to keep it on this course for now. And hopefully they can hit more stuff. Oh, nice. Nice missiles. And then as soon as he starts turning, we're going to go on defensive. Nicely done. So he's still hitting the shields. There we go. Let's go for defensive. Now he's hitting the armor. See, see that autocannon is actually not bad at all with the explosive armor. When their shields are gone, he takes them out quick. Oh, nice. Yeah, see, it was definitely not worth using performance analysis here, I think. Oh, there's more, though. Uh, gunship and a hacker. Oh, and more. <laughs> using your crew skills is key to victory in a mission. Nah, not usually. <laughs> it's more equipment and such, but of course, yeah, I mean, the skills help. All shields restored. That's what we like to see. All right, get that one. We don't want borders. See, again, now he's hitting the stuff without armor. I mean, uh, without shields. And he takes it quite quickly. I like the fact that Dr. Loco is just circling now. I don't want... There we go. Lovely. Didn't want them uh, boarding us. Nice. Nice. <laughs> just exchanging pot shots here and of course he's using the plasma gun to hit a uh, to hit armor which is not the best but he got some missiles just for good measure that was lovely new heading confirmed look at hex demon there oh yeah i'm gonna press these buttons i'm gonna uh, uh they're looking at me i gotta look important and focused yeah okay yeah that's all right charge Oh, okay. You're gonna look at me again. Engage! Alright. So, here's where we have some fun. Evasiveness will be increased. Alright. Where's the enemies? Hello, enemies. Hello. Here they are. Alright, time to call for everything. And to do performance analysis. Power! Destroy everything! Nice! 500 XP. I like it. There's stuff everywhere. Beam weapons everywhere. Man, these shields recharge quickly. <clears throat> so good. More. That's what we like to see. Let's clear them out. I wonder if our fighters... Yeah, they are actually hitting them quite well. And they have plasma weapons, which means that they take out their shields. 
quite nicely. <clears throat> nice. I'm not really sure what uh, Dr. Loka's new strategy is now, but it, apparently it's just circling around. Ouch, 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 ouch. Need some shields, please? Oh, they're already recharging. So never mind that. No, not Alcove. I meant yogurt. Jeez. <laughs> nice, and performance analysis is still going. Yeah, very nice. Ha <laughs> look at just explosions everywhere. Explosions! More beam fighters, or interceptors. I like to call them interceptors, because they're fast, tough, and with dangerous... Dangerous weapons. <clears throat> oh, more of them. Yeah, we've uh, certainly used fighter and cruiser support to full effect. Also, now that they're gone, pretty much, let's use focus fire on everyone. Performance analysis is gone, unfortunately, but, you know, we've used it to full effect. Nice. There's just explosions everywhere. I love it. This game is so, so nice looking. And those explosions, I cannot believe they managed to do such stylized explosions look so good. I really have no idea how they did that. I mean, <clears throat> obviously they, they made it, but... You know, how... I never would have thought I would like this sort of art style, but it really is very likable. Both Bomber Crew and this one. Um, are we... Yes, we are, okay. I was like, are we... Are we sitting still, or are we actually going to... To the thing? Let's accelerate the time, because there's nothing else to do here, actually. That was very nice, and look, we've got 7,000 XP. Pretty nice, I would say. Oh, they're looking at me again. I gotta look busy. Oh, what was that? Another escape pod, I think. There's a UDF escape pod in your vicinity. Assistance and recovery would be appreciated. I'm guessing it's gonna be either another scientist, which is always nice because it's more research, or it's gonna be booby-trapped. And uh, Nade Noob. Sorry. Yeah, Nade Noob. Let's go for that. Okay, retrieve. Meet, 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 meet. Hello! Ah, great! That's one of our scientists. This will surely help the research efforts. Excellent. I love how they just sit there. There we go. And I love the fact that it's actually animated, how they come out of the uh, little escape pod and such. Very nice. The, these little details and, and, and stuff, I love them in this game. All this stuff is uh, not available. Focus is almost available, so we'll use that. Lots of fighters incoming. Focus fire is ready to use. How about we do that? Focus fire, and of course go to defensive. Upper shield's low, but they're already recharging. They recharge so quickly after getting hit. Ow, 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 ow. Overdrive, increase of the effectiveness. Back of power. Wait a second, what's... What's boost, then? Improve the effectiveness of the weapon for a short time. I should really be using that along with the, uh... With the focus. Wasn't really paying attention to the fact that I had boost as well as overdrive. What if you used focus fire boost and overdrive at the same time? Probably good for some bosses. If there's some more big ships around. Come on. Performance analysis not available yet. Oh, there's another mine layer. Come on, get them. Solo Sphere, how are you doing? Getting any good uh, music on there? What's that? Oh, that was one of my missiles flying there in the distance. That was cool. Yeah, there's a mine layer. Oh. More enemies. Oh, jeez. What is that? Oh, it's one of those nasty ones. I don't know what to call them. Yeah, there's another one. Uh, heavy... 
I don't know. Uh, heavy fighter? Let's call them heavy fighters, I suppose. Boom! It's actually interesting. These uh, these mines seem to always hit us, but they don't do that much damage. I mean, yes, they're taking our shields down. Get them! Plasma fighter eliminated. Let's have some performance analysis, because this is the last one here anyway. Ow! Oh, no, no, no. Not good. Let's go for some evasive piloting. They must have hacked it. I wasn't paying attention. Ooh, big gash on the top. Okay, off you go back. And there's a lot of stuff going. Well, they are actually hitting us, despite the fact that we, we have 100% uh, evasiveness. Of course, they're hitting us very, very rarely, but still. Well, we can call for support. Return Hawk to base. You know what? Fine. Let's call him. Alpha 7 ready for action. Oh, and focus fire is already ready. And boost. <laughs> Power! Power! I'm gonna hit those. Oh, there they go. <laughs> They're just dropping like flies now. Get him. With focus and boost. Oh, look at that one. That one has a different sort of cannon on top, doesn't it? Hmm. It's like a, this chrome one. Oh yeah, it has one of those big, big cannons. Those are quite dangerous. They do have a charge up time though. Nice. Alright, well, uh, we've used that to full effect. Apart from this fighter and cruiser support, but what the heck. You know, they were uh, available anyway. And this was the last fight here. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was quite interesting, that last fight. They, the enemies are certainly getting a lot more difficult now. A lot more dangerous. Alrighty. We did good. Took a little bit of damage on, on the top there, but uh, no biggie. That's why we have armor. Alright. Hasn't forces defeated. Scientist rescued. Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. As per usual, I really hope you're enjoying this, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.